Hey guys, welcome back. This is Aquarius, and we have a new war season, which is one season number 38. This is war number one. And for this war, we're gonna take nine fights, which includes the boss and a few mini bosses. So, our team for this war is Thing, Scorpion, and Havoc. So, we're gonna take the regular path number seven. So the first fight is Dragon Man. Here I ask for a White Max pre-fight. That just makes the fight a little bit easier. So here the plan is just to bait out either Special 1 or Special 2. And probably not let him get to a Special 3. And here I'm not using an Invulnerability boost because... I didn't feel like because thing has protection. So with a few Furies and a few rock stacks you can actually like take next to zero damage on a special three in case they throw one so here i'm just trying to bait out a special two so i mean i i, I could have taken like i can take a special three easily but here i'm just trying to you know avoid it so that's why that's the reason like i'm just trying to bait out as many spe specials like as as i can so here we get cornered because of his special two spamming so still it's not a bad bad fight right now like i'm still in control of this fight i have a special three just in case you know he stops throwing his special twos so i can just go and ham and do the remaining damage on here actually i decided to go for it because he was already had a special three so he, now the plan is whenever my special three ends i have to do a heavy attack to trigger protection so after this sp3 is the thing it's 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 the same plan which i follow and straight away he uses a special three and i also triggered my protection so we're gonna take next to zero damage which is what we wanted so as you can see like we took like probably two percent damage and here i just go in and just finish the fight with the five hit combo so the next fight on is a nick fury on note 22 which is aggression prowess and so to injury and hazard shift incinerate and shock so the plan is to use havoc he's incinerate immune and whenever he gets the shock so the plasma build up is so rapid that it kind of melts the opponent so and also in this fight you'll see the attack tactic coming into play after he gets into his real life mode so here the plan is just to do combos and special one increase your plasma build up and once you get the shock uh just try to do a heavy attack and lock the lock these plasmas but since also you have you'll have debuffs on you because of insult of insult to injury your parries might fail so you have to be careful about that so i decided to bait out heavy attacks and counter them with my heavy attack so that's what we are doing now we're gonna just gonna bait the special two and then we're gonna do a five hit combo probably and a special two and here you can see because of the plasma buildups like we had two passive heal blocks right after he got into his second life one was at 30 percent but since i had the shock on me the plasma build up like went up to zero and it restarted so that gave him a little bit of health but the fight is so much in control that we end up finishing the fight with 80 something percent and it was a pretty easy fight so rank for nick fury goes down next up is man on node 22 or node 23 so this is a tricky fight i shouldn't have taken this fight but uh, i don't know i decided to take this fight so it has a, a power focus too and a node where if you don't hit them you get uh, rooted for four or maybe six seconds and then there's also a node which kind of like if you if you do like 10 block hits the 11th one is an unblockable hit 
I don't remember the name. Bubble Shield, sorry. So it's it's a Bubble Shield node. So here the plan is just to do medium light mediums and special ones and bait out special ones. And since my Scorpion is not awakened, I cannot block unblockable hits and that's the reason we took a lot of uh, damage over here and here I was nearly dead. Yeah, I was nearly dead and luckily like I could use a special and I, I was just maintaining my calm after this SP2 I ate. So here I'm just trying to like figure out like okay I don't want him to use another special too because that's my end for, for this fight. So here I'm just trying to do the same thing again maintain my composure and luckily luckily we survived this fight and it was a very 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 dangerous fight and probably i won't be taking this fight anymore since my scorpion is not awakened so the next up fight is void on node 26 which is uh, hazard shift shock and bleed so we can use thing because uh, he's immune to both of these things and Another thing which this node has is Conflicto. So what I needed was on this fight was just a white max play fight which James gave me. So here the plan is just to do normal hits and a special 3. And in case I decide on using a special 1 or special 2 I just have to be careful that uh, I'm at 15 rock stacks and not 20 rock stacks because whenever you are at 20 rock stacks so uh, if you do a special one with 20 rock stacks you put a weakness debuff and if you do a special two with 20 rock stacks you put a stun so though they count as debuffs so conflictor is gonna beautify them and give him 75 percent bar of power or something like that so I just wanted to avoid that so I just went with special 3 because it gives me unblockable and unstoppable so I can kind of manage my openings over there so here my plan is to keep my combo at like the 8th hit or like you know at, at 8s or maybe like just do like 9 hits and then just wait for a wait for the debuff on me so that I can get to above 10 hits so I can purify that debuff so the fight is going pretty well and we are towards the end of this fight and yeah and it also it was a rank 4 void so it took me a little time to take him down since a rank 4 void has a pretty good amount of health pool uh, so so yeah, this was the fourth fight of this war. Next up is a Wong on uh, Path 9 Section 2 first fight. Here I decided to give an energy to my alliance mate so he can get to his path and like probably finish it, his, his fight so faster. So next up is Wong on Section 2 Path 9 first fight which is uh, again hazard shift, bleed and shock and uh, one eye open so basically there's two things which you have to be careful about is first not to hit during the stun and the second is whenever Wong gets 200 of his charges make sure you use a heavy attack so initially I thought like maybe I'll bait up a special one and counter it with a heavy attack but sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't because a few times i guess so uh, he got to his 100 charges but he was not at a special one or probably he was below a special one so then i decided to use my protection as my best source uh, to to stop that damage reflection on stunts so here I did a heavy attack, I had my protection, but I mistimed it a little bit. So here since he's at 100 charges, I don't have to do a medium or a light attack because it's going to give me a boost. 
boost damage so here i just decided to use a heavy attack and took some reflected damage on stun but it wasn't that bad <laughs> so it's it's always better to take a little damage than like you know a damage which can kill you so that's what i decided like i just weighed out like what's more important giving a death or taking a little damage so i went with a little damage because <laughs> that's that's something which makes more sense <laughs> So above I guess 50 charges whenever he uses especially becomes unstoppable. So that's the reason we got hit in between but we still have the fight in control. He uses a special 3, we bring him down to 14%. And since he's unstoppable again, we're just gonna wait for an opening. And I guess with this one 5 hit combo, he is nearly down. So now he's again above 90 of his charges and now he's at 100 and he's also he's probably at one bar of power but I just decided to go with this heavy attack and just finish the fight. So the next up fight next up is uh, his cork. So yeah, I decided to just use Havoc and take the advantage of getting shocks. Um, just wanted to melt him down and here I miss an intercept which was unfortunate and now we can see that Korg is just melting and he has his rock shields rock shield charges a lot of rock shield charges which I don't think are, po are gonna be possible for me to take them out even if I get to another special <laughs> but the fight was so fast that like he, he just melted at that point Next up is Terax on note 53 which is stunning reflection so here I took the advantage of easy poisons and uh, my plan was just to do medium light mediums and put the poison and then keep the shield on uh, uh, on a cooldown the, the stunning reflection shield on cooldown so here in between I'm just trying to refresh this uh, refresh this stunning reflection timer and also I'm trying to wait out his rock field so I don't take a lot of rock field damage so whenever he throws a special one I just go for a few hits so that I can refresh this the stun reflection and then I wait out his rock field to expire and then I just go with the special one again I hit him on the parry and this way he goes down very fast so here yeah, I'm just trying to cycle more specials which I should not do but I was like okay this fight is quite easy I thought like it might be a difficult fight but it wasn't so here we go again like I'm just refreshing the stunning reflection timer I'm just waiting out his uh, rock field to expire so once it's expired I have more hits like I can do more damage so I just decided to end the fight with the special 2 and I guess it did yeah so it was a pretty easy fight <coughs> next up is Mr. Negative on uh, the note 55 so here James gave me a white max white max pre-fight and even though I was given a white max preferred I thought probably I should not do a lot of parries and probably bait heavies because whenever you parry he gains his uh, dark field charges I hope that's the correct wording for that so here my plan is just to probably push him to a special 2 and uh, bait out a special 2 and since it's easy to retaliate even i can dex the special one but i just went with the more easier option so here we're just trying to bait out special twos and i i'm just gonna use either special ones or special twos probably special twos because uh, of a higher damage so since it's a rank four mr negative it's 
taking a little bit of time just to take him down so here we go with a special one i guess now so here we're just trying to bait out a heavy attack so we get an opening we get for a go for a special two decks again and i guess i'm gonna end the fight with a special three if i'm not wrong yeah we go with one prowess build up and i think it was enough to finish him off no maybe not oh yeah it did perfect so this last fight is a dr doom boss i've taken this fight a lot of times last season with scorpion sometimes i've done this fight in like two minutes or maybe three minutes and once i remember i finished this fight with just one second remaining so it this fight can go any way it just depends on the ai so in this fight we can't see that too. so basically the plan is just to just to use special ones two medium light mediums special ones and just keep on letting him throw a special during the taunt so and with more poisons on him so that he gains so he gets like a lot more boost damage from the power stings so as you can see in this fight the Doctor Doom person is not running with this position. Just whenever I'm texting I'm he's not gaining a lot of bar a lot of power. So this is a little bit annoying for me because if he was running Mystic Dispersion each dex it expires like gives him more power so that means more SP1 spamming by Doctor Doom which means more power sting damage but this was not happening but still we start to fight very well he has the cold snap so he's not gonna get he's not he's not gonna deal a lot of damage but since he doesn't have any buff right now and I don't know what happened over here he just darted in at me and just stopped and used a special one but we still have the fight in control two minutes into the fight he's at 50 something percent and from here onwards i guess i start making a lot of mistakes i was pushing him like i was using my sp1 spin he already had the debuff so whenever they have the debuff either incinerate shock or plasma like that uh they kind of regen all the damage so whatever damage you do either power sting or normal damage it gets regen back to them so the main idea behind this fight should be that you don't use a special or don't knock them down quite often but i was still doing it and i saw that i just have one minute 30 seconds left and around 40 percent health remaining so i had to rush and here i started playing a little more aggressively and i saw i had no debuff i just used a special one and since he doesn't have any debuff now i can use a special one after instantly it's always shock so i knew that it's gonna like not give him a debuff so that's the reason i decided that at that point he should be throwing a lot more specials so that he gets the power sting damage so 25 seconds into the fight he's at three percent and i just finished the fight with the special too could have been more worse but we managed to get the solo over here so this was it for this war and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one make sure to subscribe thank you